Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here on Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Launched for 2015 in association with the release of the motion picture Spectre. This is a Omega James Bond limited edition, Spectre limited edition of 7,007 pieces, 41 millimeters in stainless steel. It's a modified Omega Omega Seamaster 300 meter, which is to say it's the vintage inflected Omega Seamaster. Now on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see the 41 millimeter watch has a vintage look, but a modern sizing. It's also different because you can wear this watch on a strap and get a completely different feel than if you wore it on a NATO strap. So between NATO strap and conventional strap, you're gonna change the look and the feel as well as the actual dimensions of the watch. 41 millimeters in diameter, the thickness is heavily dependent on what kind of strap you use. With the NATO, it's a rather chunky 17.5 millimeters tall on the wrist. With the conventional strap that is one that doesn't run under the case back, it is 14.8 millimeters thick. That's the actual case of the watch. From lug to lug, you can see that it measures a very reasonable 47.9 millimeters so I can endorse it for a small wrist as small in fact as 13 and a half centimeters circumference the spacing between the lugs is 21 millimeters so it does have a very broad stance in relation to its size giving it a modern look in spite of the vintage details now the NATO also creates a little bit of a, a bulge across the wrist you can see it flares out on both sides it's a billowing ribbon of textile and it's a lovely NATO strap I have to say Omega's take on the NATO is probably the most durable and richly appointed you're gonna find anywhere. Let's take a quick look at some of the accessories before we delve into the watch. First, you can see it's got a little uh, triple stripe pattern, three black stripes, two gray. It features all metal hardware. No no, t no, textile loops, no plastic here. Everything is steel to match the case and nicely satin finish. And you can see that they're even getting the uh, special edition into the hardware. So you have 007 iconography on the strap minder itself. Everything is nicely arrayed and you can see this is an Omega factory NATO beautifully made and the textile itself is a little bit thicker than what you'd conventionally expect on a NATO strap. Now since I have mentioned to you that this is a strap that's perhaps a little bit thick and it does obscure our view of the timepiece. I'm going to remove it, having seen it both on the wrist and off the wrist. I'm going to move it out of the way so you can enjoy the caliber of the watch. And a display case back is part of the fun of owning this kind of timepiece. You can see that it's nicely made and externally there are very few differences relative to the standard 2014 to present Seamaster 300 meter. Minimally beveled lugs. It's designed to look like the 1957 watch, the 2915 Seamaster 300. You you can see there are no crown guards, there are squared off ends to the lugs themselves. It's a pretty straight shot from lug to lug with a relatively thin and longitudinal satin finish. The hoods of the lugs are polished and it's a good look. Now things change a little bit when you move inboard where the bezel, rather than being the unidirectional unit on the standard Seamaster 300, is actually a bi-directional rotating bezel so you can actually turn it in either direction. So this is not a true ISO 6425 diver, it's a bit different. And and that is specific to the Spectre model. You'll also note that instead of a standard dive calibration, it's calibrated from zero to, well, zero. So zero, one through 11, and then back. That's different, also different. There is a lollipop style seconds hand. You will not find that on the standard watch. The standard watch features the Arabic numeral 12 at the top of the dial, whereas the Spectre model features the Omega logo with the vintage font and the vintage Omega marquee. Now, everything is nicely executed, and the dial is surprisingly nuanced. As you can see it's almost like a Panerai sandwich dial. It's a matte finish to resist glare and then you can see that there are actually recesses into which solid blocks of Luminova have been sunken so it has a little bit of a 3D look at night and it has plenty of loom despite the use of a sort of ecru colored simulated patina loom. You'll also note that it features vintage inspired Dauphine minutes and broad arrow hours. Turn it all over and you can see there's a little bit of commemorative edition graphics on the back, limited edition, individual numbering and and of course, it mentions the film name Spectre. Everything else is pretty straightforward. This is what you'll find on a standard Seamaster 300. Caliber 8400 met. It's nicely executed. And as you can see, two mainspring barrels and 
60 hour power reserve, but with very even torque release from max wind to minimum wind. That's the advantage of twin barrels. It's not just that it gives you a longer power reserve, it's that you don't have the big drop off in amplitude after 24 hours that you'll find on, say, a Rolex 3135 or 3235. Smooth bi directional winding, full balance bridge with a free sprung index for shock resistance, silicon hairspring for anti magnetism. It's basically an A magnetic watch, as you can see, 1.5 Tesla, 15,000 Gauss or more. It also features stop seconds and a time zone feature, so when you thread out the crown, which endows the watch with 300 meter water resistance, you have the ability to move the hour hand independently without actually stopping the watch. There's also a stop seconds function, and of course it's both a chronometer, COSC certified, and a coaxial with the latest tri-level coaxial as envisioned by George Daniels and perfected by Omega. So this 25,200 vibration per hour escapement is highly efficient, precise, and stable long term. A lovely Omega Special Edition that doesn't broadcast its James Bond associations. It's nevertheless a wonderful special series in the 007 tradition without becoming a piece of kitsch or movie memorabilia. It's a worthy luxury entry in its own right. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Omega Seamaster 300 meter Spectre by Night.